Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's Brandon Fisher here. And in today's video, what I wanted to do is I have the privilege of rolling out these videos when we come out with a new feature or a new something live pigeon. Well, today in this video, what I wanted to talk about is a new destination that we have, a new integration uh, that we have with Zoom. And uh, what I'm excited about is to show you how we're going to be able to use Live Pigeon and Zoom together. So let's get into it. So I'm inside a live pigeon here. If I click on the incubator, this is your video library. This is where all your videos get stored inside of live pigeon. And now that I already have done the hard work of uploading the videos into the incubator, I can now go to destinations. Now destinations, this is where you can get connected to either Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. And for today, I'm going to click add destination. And you can see that we have the new destination of Zoom. So I'm going to click on the Zoom account. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and sign into Zoom. Now, when you're connecting this new destination, this Zoom destination, you probably saw the pop-up to download the software. If for some reason you clicked away and you didn't get it, I did wanna point out that over in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see a button that says, download the Live Pigeon app. I want to make sure that you download the software. It only works right now on Mac computers. Uh, it's something that we'll probably look at adding uh, to uh, PC users as well in the future. But for now, it, this is only working on Mac computers. And once you have the app actually downloaded and it's, it's then launched, you'll see up in the top here, there's this little pigeon wing. And uh, this is something that just runs in the background. And I'll show you what it does here in just a second. But I wanted to make sure that you downloaded that before I get started on this next step. So now that I've gone ahead and connected my Zoom account, you'll see over on the left-hand side that I have a new tab called Zoom. And if I click on it, you'll see that I have Zoom events. And no, no event has been created yet. Uh, you need to create an event so that we can actually be able to go live to that event. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on add event, and we're gonna go ahead and give this event a name. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and hit enter or you can click off of it. Um, now your event has been named. I can go ahead and upload an, an image so now that I've selected my image, I can go ahead and crop it and I can go ahead and click save. And just like that, I have my image saved. I have my image named. Um, I'm connected to the, the correct Zoom account. Uh, from here, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. And this is now the show builder. What's fun about this is I originally set out to have show builder when we first built Live Pigeon. I wanted to be able to create a playlist of you know, videos and things like that. And it's just taken us this long uh, to finally be able to have it. But the exciting thing is, is that we have this feature and we have it available. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and build out the show. So I'm going to click add video and I can go through and I can find, you know, looking at all the videos, I can go ahead and just click that. I can go to add another video because let's say I want to have these two videos first and then I want to add a webcam. So, and then I can add another video. And again, all I'm going to end up doing here is just building out the show based off of how uh, the run of show is going to go. Now, here's the other thing. Because I'm adding a video and then putting a webcam in between them, that's why I'm selecting each one individually. And if I want to, let's say, oh, uh, 1.4 is supposed to go before 1.5. I can just click this little hamburger icon, move this up and release. And just like that, and I can add a webcam, do the same thing. Uh, that right there, I've already been able to build out my run of show. And so uh, you can also see here, if you want, you can remove this. You can also change the tag. So what tags are is the ability that you can tag your videos for organization. So like right now, uh, we have webcam and video as the default, but if you wanted to add a tag um, for breakout rooms or for different things, if you want them to be different color coordinated, you can totally do that by clicking add tag. Uh, you can go ahead and click on uh, any color. You can even add in your own custom color. Uh, give it a name, things like that. Again, it's just there for your own organization if you choose to use it. For this example though, I just have two videos, which is webcam and video. So I'm gonna leave it there. Another thing that I wanted to point out is that we have this notes feature. I can click on notes. You can uh, copy and paste from a Word doc into here. 
um, or you can just type them out. The one thing I want to stress though, is it's good to build out everything ahead of time so that when you actually go to run your show, there's less stress involved, right? Cause you've already pre done the work ahead of time. So now that I've done this, um, I can go ahead and click add and Again, just to review, I filled out my event name. I have my account connected. I've built out my show. I filled out my notes. I'm ready to go. If you want to create a meeting that you keep doing, let's say every Monday, then you could create a reoccurring meeting and then nothing changes. The link doesn't change. Everything stays the same so that you might want to email your audience that. So for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it turned off. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on the create Zoom meeting. And then once I've created the meeting, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll back down to the bottom here. And you can see I've got the link here. And if I click on it, it highlights the whole thing. I can then copy this by hitting Command C, or I can right click and do copy. And then I could go and paste this into an email and send this out to my audience to let them know that, hey, this is the Zoom link that you need to join, right? Now this little button next to the link, if you click on it, what it's gonna do is it's gonna open a new tab and it's gonna prompt you to launch Zoom. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that button. Now it's gonna ask, you know, do you wanna open Zoom? So I'm gonna go ahead and click open Zoom. And here I am inside of Zoom. And what I can do, uh, in fact, I'm gonna hit escape just because sometimes it'll go into full screen mode here. So I'm going to go back to Chrome and I'm going to make sure that the Live Pigeon tab is open. And so now that I'm back inside of Live Pigeon, you'll see that I have a button down here in the bottom right says Event Dashboard. So I've gone in and I've copied my link. I've clicked Launch uh, Zoom. So Zoom is now open. So now that I'm here, I'm going to go uh, into the Event Dashboard. And this is how the event dashboard looks. What I really like about uh, this is it shows you your show builder, right? It, this list of all your videos that you've built out. And again, you wanna make sure that everything looks good before you click the start stream button. It's important, right? Because if you need to make any changes, you can go ahead and go back, make any changes that you need so that you can then come back in here and to be able to have a nice run of show. From here, I can change the order of things around, but as soon as I click start stream, it's gonna kind of lock my show um, and you're not gonna be able to make any changes until you actually end the stream. So uh, that's just one thing to point out. Uh, over here, uh, we can talk through this stuff. Uh, transitions, if you wanna have transitions between your videos, then you can click the this button and it'll change it from 0.5 transition to uh, one second transition or no transition at all. No transition, it'll be more um, jumpy, I guess, or snappy to uh, from one video to the next. Uh, typically, I like to just have a small transition. Uh, so I'm gonna leave this on the 0.5 transition. So that's kind of the show builder section inside of the event dashboard. Now here up at the top, you'll see notes. Um, this up here is going to be your note section. Again, that was something that we added earlier. If you want to make any notes or add anything, um, you can make those changes here. Uh, again, you can copy and paste them from an email, from a Google Doc, uh, whatever that might look like for you. Uh, you can see here I have... Uh, the time remaining, this is for the first video. I haven't ran it yet, so that's why it just it's holding there. Uh, if I wanted to turn off my webcam, you'll see that it's the image that I had set previous, right? So again, uh, if you wanted to start off, uh, if you needed to walk away, if there's something that needed to happen, uh, sometimes technical difficulties happen and you wanna be able to just punch up an image until you get something else uh, figured out, right? Uh, I can also choose if I had, um, you know, different cameras or uh, things like that, that I can choose them uh, from inside this list. Same with microphone. Again, you'll just click on the little up arrow next to the camera icon or next to the microphone icon, and it would give you different um, options. See, so I, I mean, I could change uh, different ones based off of what I have plugged into my computer. And then down here, you'll see I have this little cloud icon. That just means that the Live Pigeon app has been downloaded and that it's actually connected. Uh, if for some reason it's not connected, it would then uh, disappear. And so for this example, it's, uh, it's already been connected. In fact, you can see it up here in my top bar. Uh, in fact, I can go here and this shows me that this is the 
Live Pigeon app. So um, now that I have that downloaded, everything's connected, everything's good to go. Um, what's nice is as soon as I click the start stream button, uh, the total stream duration will start. And then what else is nice is since we're starting with a video, it's going to count me down until the next video plays. And then once the next video plays, that'll go until then the next thing, uh, which is then your webcam. So now I'm all ready to go. I've checked off that my show builder's built out. I have my notes uh, already built out. I changed my uh, transition duration. I'm ready to go. And what I want to do next is I just want to basically click the start stream button, and then I'm going to bounce over to Zoom and show you the Zoom settings that you need to set up so that you can have a very smooth and uh, good experience over on the Zoom side of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click start stream. Now notice what happens, okay? So this is showing me this indicator here of which video that we are on. Uh, it's starting to count down. Um, this is showing me the total stream duration, which is great. So now I'm just gonna go over to Zoom. So here I have Zoom up on my screen here, hello. Uh, I'm gonna change the camera to the Live Pigeon camera. Now when you download the Live Pigeon software, that's when this gives you the ability for it to show up. So, so one thing to point out is the settings inside of Zoom might not be set up to the way that you want them to be. And so let's go over that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set my video to be the Live Pigeon camera. And then notice that the, the text is backwards. So I'm gonna come here and go into Zoom settings. I'm gonna go under video. So I wanna make sure that I turn off mirror my video, make sure that your camera is set to HD and I'm gonna to go to my audio settings. And I also wanna make sure that my audio is set to original sound for musicians. I wanna turn off echo cancellation. I'll turn on high fidelity music mode and stereo audio. So I want to uh, go up to the top here and I want to choose uh, original sound for musicians on. And the reason that we want to do this is because Zoom has some really good like uh, cancellation audio, uh, but sometimes it will actually remove uh, what you want inside of your video. So uh, now that we've got that set up, I can come back here to my show builder and I can actually show you that we've got seven minutes left of this video before it goes back to me on the webcam. And so uh, as you can see, I've built out my show. I've got my show notes. I started the stream. I can see the total duration that we've been going live for. It's counting me down uh, before I'm about to go live uh, with my webcam. And uh, you can also see down here that I have the play button. What the play button means is like, let's say as I'm going, if I want to uh, just have it jump to the next thing in line, I can go ahead and click the play button and it's gonna then jump uh, to the next video in your playlist that you've created inside your show builder tab here. Uh, you can also look, I've got buttons over the video that have started. I can restart the video from the beginning. Uh, let's say something happened and I was talking or a button accidentally got clicked. I can click the restart video and it'll just play it back from the beginning. Um, or I can click the show webcam button and then it's going to go to the webcam. And look at me. Hey, how's it going? And look, I'm on Zoom right now and I'm talking to you. Hello and welcome. Uh, isn't this integration cool that we have the ability that we can go live from Live Pigeon and it's actually going live to Zoom right now. So anyway, this is really cool. So I'm gonna actually jump back to Live Pigeon just to show you that um, if for some reason, let's say, I don't know, you've maybe seen those videos, right? Of a little kid running in the background or something happened, some technical difficulty thing happens. You can always click this button on the webcam and it will then go just to a still image onto your Zoom. It's just there for like uh, a fail safe. It's, it's the ability that you can have a, a still store, if you will, on some of the, the switchers. Uh, it's just a feature that we wanted to, to make sure that we added and included in here as well. So um, now that I've got all of this built out, uh, everything's good to go. It's, it's as easy as this, you guys, as far as you build out your show the way you want it to run and then you're able to just start the stream. Again, there's a few things that we have to do to connect it to Zoom to get it going. But once your feed is going live to Zoom, you can see I, 
It's as if I've got my webcam on and I'm going live to Zoom, which is really cool. And then when you are done with the live stream, what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and click stop stream. And it's going to say, are you sure you want to stop the stream? I'm going to say yes, stop stream. And just like that is it takes us back to the Zoom tab into the Zoom event. And we actually leave your Zoom event there so that let's say you might wanna take this video and go live again with it. So if you are running a five day event or a multiple day event, or you're trying to do something where you have uh, content that you already have, but you want to add a facilitator to it, or maybe you wanna be your own facilitator of content you've already done so you don't have to re-explain or reteach something. Again, you can take your old content in a way, recycle it, but in a nice way where you can have, uh, you can do breakout rooms inside of Zoom. Oh, there's so many things that you can do that I'm just super excited about. And that's why we are really excited about having this new feature inside of Live Pigeon. Can't wait for you to jump in and to try it out for yourself. What I'm wanting you to do, if that is something that you want to do, is to go up to your account settings and go ahead and click manage billing. From Manage Billing, just choose the plan that has the Zoom capability, and you can then just go ahead and jump in and start using it for yourself. Can't wait to hear your feedback on this new feature, and we're just really excited for this integration with Zoom. Uh, super excited to be able to work with them and to be able to offer this inside of Live Pigeon. So that is it for this video. Until next time.